Ever heard of Mountain? Nah, me neither. That was until the Everest keyboard made a show-stopping entrance into the peripheral world, offering up some very unique features that had previously never really been seen before. Well now, they have a mouse too. Let's do this. Never worry about Wi-Fi again. With the fastest Wi-Fi ever and four times the connection capacity so you can connect more, do more, and stream more simultaneously. Orbi Wi-Fi 6 from Netgear. Aching to the mountain branding, the Makalu 67 is named after the famous Himalayan mountains that's pretty much near Mount Everest. Starting to see a theme with the branding here yet? Well, you'd be pleased to know that straight off the bat that it's not priced as high as a mountain. Coming in at $59.99 in the UK and $59.99 in the US. Why do we always get jibbed on the pricing in the UK? So I know what you're wondering, why the 67? Well, in the ever-changing landscape of my selling points, lighter is apparently better. The 67 denotes the weight of the mouse, which is a whopping, you ready for it? one gram less than the famous glorious model D mouse, but doesn't quite compete with offerings from Cooler Master, with the MM710, 711 and 720 mice all coming in significantly lighter, especially when it comes to the 49 grams of the MM720. For context, that's about as light as two AA batteries. Weight aside, the other big thing at the moment is the design, and I'm gonna admit, I don't really see the fascination with the ribcage style that these mice are now coming out with. Larger mice matter too, people. When are we gonna stop fat shaming? Seriously though, I prefer something that fits well in my hand, has the features that I need, and just, well, frankly, um, I don't know, maybe it's asking too much, just works. I don't care about a ribcage design or how light it is. I'm not the biggest guy in the gym, but I can lift a mouse for God's sake. But I guess, each to their own. Now, don't get me wrong, Mountain aren't just trying to make a good product, they're saving the planet too. They have standards and, um, and ethics. That's why their entire packaging is recyclable, which is actually quite refreshing to see, especially from a company which is essentially a, uh, a startup. So what's the deal with the Makalu itself? Well, the mouse is available in either gunmetal black, or as I call it, black, or also available in white, which I'm still a little bit dubious about after those long, sweaty gaming sessions. I guess you may now actually have a reason to have toilet tissue or wet wipes next to your computer, eh? Eh? Inside the box is the usual quick start guide, stickers, some additional feet, should the ones on the mouse wear down over time, and also a cable tie. Though we're always gonna be recommending the eTechnics ones available on store.etechnics.com. Shameless plug, I know. So as I mentioned, I was pretty apprehensive when looking at the rib cage design, but it actually feels pretty good in my hand. It feels strong and durable that I didn't really expect. And it really actually surprised me as someone who's never used this style of mouse before. It gives a kind of aerodynamic look that, well, you're never really gonna see because your hand's gonna be covering it. I'm pretty sure though it is function first and style second, but I may be wrong. I will admit at first it did feel, I don't know, a little bit too light and it will take time, but just like anything, you will get used to it. Now, what about those hot, sweaty gaming sessions that I spoke about? While I'm not sure how clean the white one will actually stay, you'll be pleased to know that the Makalu has a water repellent PCB coating and should dust get inside, just blow it out with some compressed air. So who is it actually aimed at? Well, depending on your grip style, the Makalu's pretty much aimed for claw or palm users, which should be suitable for most people out there. It actually feels pretty well suited in your hand. I generally prefer a mouse which is slightly larger in the rear, and this actually fits the bill for me because it tapers in slightly towards the middle and is slightly longer than the competition, again, like the MM series from Cooler Master. There are six buttons, so nothing overly amazing, but most of them can be adjusted and remapped to fit in with exactly what you want. I do find the side buttons, I don't know, positioned slightly too far back for me, but I think it's where I'm used to my Corsair Glaive RGB Pro, which is a pretty damn big mouse. So what about under the hood? Well, you'd be pleased to know that Mountain have used Omron switches, which are rated for 50 million clicks and are one of the most durable switches you can get on a mouse right now. Now, one of my favorite features of this mouse is actually the cable. I know, sounds stupid, but the cable on this mouse is brilliant. It actually feels cheaper than the competition because it's not stiff, but I kind of like that as it's nice and flexible and it doesn't kink. It almost feels as if there's no cable beneath the braiding at all. <gasps> Maybe it's magic. 
Now I did mention the extra feet that came included and instead of like most mice on the market, having these kind of pointless small bits of tape, the Mikalu opts for two large 100% PTFE feet, meaning that it glides nice and smoothly. Added to the lightweight design, you may actually be fine that a DPI doesn't need to be as high as what you'd normally have it at. Speaking of DPI, mounting didn't skip on the optics either, being as far as I know, the first mouse in the world to use the latest PixArt PAW3370 sensor. With an adjustable DPI of up to 19,000 for those who want something fast paced, all the way down to 100 for those precision snipers or professionals. Not to be confused with professional snipers. Seriously, who writes these jokes? Oh, me. You can easily change the DPI on the fly with four presets using the button on the top and the DPI level is indicated by four little lights in front of it. Nice and simple. The scroll wheel feels sturdy and does have a noticeable bump, which I kind of like, but if you do want some faster scrolling, just press it in and off you fly. The Mikalu also has a very low one to two millimeter lift off distance, meaning that it gives you that little bit of allowance to pull up when using the mouse, especially handy in faster paced games or when you don't have much desk space to move or in case you're using the mouse without a surface or your desk has grooves or imperfections in it, kind of gets you covered no matter what. Now, of course, these days, I'm sorry, you cannot make a product without adding a little RGB to it. Now, some of you will actually be pleased to know that it's turned off by default straight out of the box. So no rainbows and unicorns here. Unless, you know, you're into that kind of stuff. You weirdo. To get full control over the eight individual LEDs, you'll have to install the Basecamp software, giving you access to the typical 16.7 million colors you'd expect, as well as tons of RGB presets, key bindings, macros, and much, much more. It's actually nice to see a piece of software that, you know, works these days. And for a new kid on the block, the software is actually pretty decent and not really overly complex. Maybe motherboard manufacturers should take note. Yeah, <clears throat> Aorus, Azus, MSI. Yeah, I'm looking at you. So now the important question, and I know we've all been waiting for it, does it make you a better gamer? For me, actually, yes. Things felt a little bit more precise, more accurate. And while that could be a placebo, I'm gonna have to put some of it down to the mouse. That Pixar sensor just seems to have a, I don't know, a slightly different level of precision that I'm simply not used to. Is it enough for me to switch though? That is the big question. And I wanna be honest with you guys because what are we without honesty? Sadly not, it's not enough for me to switch, but only for one reason and one reason alone. I need more buttons. The types of games that I play, the content creation process I work to just require that extra level. But for a mainstream gamer, it's pretty much perfect. Now on that note, if a Mikalu 77 or 87, 90, I don't even care what it weighs, but if that was to come out in the future with a few more buttons, I think I'd honestly be sold on it being one of the best mice in the world. All from a company who have never made mice before. I mean, give them some more time and I think Mountain is gonna be a name you're gonna be hearing a lot from in the future. Good game, Mountain, good game. Click.